Hi guys, welcome to Mass tutorial brought to you by Direct Tutoring. Today we're going to have a look at scientific notation. So if we take a quick overview, scientific notation is a way in which we can express very large or indeed very small numbers in a more convenient fashion. And this topic will essentially allow you to read off very large or very small numbers easily based on their power value. So the power value here is, is quite important because that's, that's what we're going to use or that's the fundamentals of um, scientific notation. Now positive powers show a large number whereas negative powers show a very small number. So for example, if we take these two examples here, we have 1 times 10 to the power positive 4 and we have 1 times 10 to the power minus 4. One of these is incredibly large and the other one is incredibly small. So we'll see the process on how to uh, write these in standard form and then indeed convert standard form to scientific notation. So question one here says, can we express 27 million in scientific notation? Now where scientific notation becomes very powerful is Imagine we have a series of calculations to write out that all comprise of extremely large values. Then rather than writing constant tedious zeros all the time, what we can do is summarise it in scientific notation form. So first what we'll do is we'll write out the number and show the decimal point. So that's, that's key here to scientific notation is all about manipulation of the decimal point. So notice here we have the, the decimal point written here. Now what we're then going to do is we're going to count back using the decimal point and we're going to go between the 2 and the 7. So we need to now count back all these times until this decimal point lies between the 2 and the 7. So if we do that, then what we end up with is this value. So we get 2.7 then 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Now we've moved here a total of 7 times because let's just count this again. So we have 1 move, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and then 7. So what that tells us is that the power is going to be positive 7. So therefore what we do is in the scientific notation is always working to the power of tens because remember we're moving the decimal place so we're going in increments of tens. You now if you chop a zero off here we've deduced this by a factor of ten. If you take a hundred and times it by ten you end up with a thousand. So this is all this is is just counting zeros either in the positive or in the negative direction. So what that tells us here is we're going to have 2.7 times 10 to the power 7. So that's how we would express this in scientific notation. Now, a lot of people will ask, well, why did you put the decimal point here? Why did you not put the decimal point, say, here? Then that can be, you know, we can indeed do that. It just means that this value will be slightly different. So imagine, instead of putting it as 2.7, Imagine we put the decimal point here, so it was actually 27. So what that would tell us is that instead of it being to the power 7, we would only have moved a number of 6 times. So if we were to write this as 27, it would actually be 27 times 10 to the power 6. So these are exactly the same number as 27 million. Now question number two is we're now going to go in the opposite direction. We've went to numbers that are very large, but here, whenever we see a value of zero point and then subsequent zeros, then this means that the number is incredibly small. So we're going to have to do exactly the same thing, but this time um, do it in terms of the negative powers. Now, in actual fact, this is easier than the positive powers. So what we can essentially do here is just count the number of zeros. When we have very small numbers, so zero point and then, you know, such and such numbers, when you have this type of system, you just count the zeros. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. 
So in that case, what we then do here is we can imagine that the decimal point has moved to this point here. And that's why we can count the number of zeros, because it's the number of times that decimal point has moved in order to get to this point. So this time, as we said, we just count the zeros or indeed count it back using the decimal point, we get to number six. Now, because we are zero point, we've actually got to turn this into negative six. So that will tell us that putting it into the times 10 to the power form, our answer here, now remember the decimal point has been at this point. So it's now going to be three times 10 to the power minus six. And that is as difficult as scientific notation gets. You can do it with extremely large numbers, or you can do it with extremely small numbers. The principle and the process is exactly the same. Now, if we want to go in the opposite direction, say, for example, we want to go from scientific notation to standard form, then we just do the reverse of exactly what we did before. So we want to express 3.6 times 10 to the 4 in standard form. So the power 4 means that, as we know, that's the number of moves the decimal point will make to the right. Okay, so we're going in the right-hand side. So that means we're going to go from here and we're going to move in such, a, in such uh, subsequent ways. So since the decimal point passes the 6 first, then there is going to be a total of three zeros because the first move, so the first of four moves, is going to go from that point there and turn in that 3.6 into 36. And then so forth until we move another three times, we'll end up with three zeros. So again, what you could do is you could work this out the other way. You could say turn that into scientific notation. So our decimal point will be here, we move 1, 2, 3, 4. So we can see that we would end up with a power 4. So again, as you says, check it back, and we just proved that we would be to the power 4 if we moved back the way. And then question number 4 is we're going to do exactly the same thing, but this time with an incredibly small number. So we have 2.93 times 10 to the minus 7. So... The power minus 7, again, means that there is going to be a number such as 0 point something. That's what the negative here implies. We have a very, very small number. Now, just like putting the small number into scientific notation, whereby we, we counted the number of zeros, we can do exactly the same thing here. Because this tells us how many zeros we are going to have in our system. So we're actually going to have seven zeros. But just remember, between the first two zeros or the left-hand side zeros, there has to be a decimal place in here. But if you count these, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it's as simple as that. We have 7 zeros, so it would be 2.93 times 10 to the minus 7. Now question 5 is the Earth orbit uh, is approximately 1.5 times 10 to the power 8 kilometres. What is the circumference of the orbit in scientific notation? Then the equation for the circumference of the circle is given by C equals pi d. So this is a, this is a problem solving question that involves scientific notation and that's quite common in an exam. So what we need to then deduce here is that we are told that um, the Earth orbit is approximately 1.5 times 10 to the power 8. So the orbit tells us the essentially the circumference. So the circumference being, you know, imagine that's the sun there, then the Earth's orbit is something like this. So you can think about it as, you know, a kind of circle. So we know here that d, so the diameter, is equal to 2 multiplied by the radius. Now we know that because this is the orbit, so this is essentially the radius of the Earth to the Sun, because that's the Earth here, that's the Sun. That distance there is 1.5 times 10 to the 8. So that's a radius. So we simply replace R with 1.5 times 10 to the power 8, 
multiply it by 2, and then multiply it by pi. So in doing so, what we end up with is an incredibly large number. So let's just see what this would actually be. So this is reading out to be 942,477,796.1 kilometers. Now, having to write that every time, say this was part of a bigger calculation, would be incredibly tedious. So what we do is, because when we get to such large numbers, these numbers here in that region become very insignificant. You know, a thousand compared to a number that is 900 million is incredibly insignificant. So that's where we can use and utilize the power of rounding. So what we'll do is we'll count back from this decimal point between the nine and the four. Again, you could do it between this four and this two, but we're staying consistent and we're going between the nine and the four. So what that'll tell us is that, let's just double check. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So that tells us that the circumference of the Earth's orbit is 9.4 times 10 to the eight kilometers. And that is a lot easier to write and interpret rather than seeing this big number here. So you can see the power um, of scientific notation, especially when the numbers get either incredibly large or incredibly small. So now it is your turn. Um, so as part of our £250 giveaway every month, um, we are giving you the opportunity to apply everything that you've learned in this lesson um, and end with the chance of winning £250. So the question here says the total mass of the Earth is given by 5.97 times 10 to the 24 kilograms. The total mass of the water on Earth is given by 1.35 times 10 to the 21 kilograms. We need to determine the mass of water as a percentage of the total mass of the Earth. And we need to give your answer in scientific notation. So, in order for you to enter the monthly prize giveaway, only valid subscribers that act that comment the correct answer will be entered into the monthly draw. The more videos that you comment the correct answer to, the more uh, draws that you, the more entries that you will have um, in each monthly draw. So, thank you for your time. Hopefully, this was helpful in understanding the concept of scientific notation. Please like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us reach as many students as possible. Thank you for your time, and we hope to see you in another video.